Hello, this is just going to talk a little bit about what happens when you first go into DrawExact and how you use the help system. You'll see a screen a bit like this when you first visit. <clears throat> and this is what happens when you're not signed in. And you can just start playing with it. You'll see some example drawings here and you click on one of them and off you go. But after you've made a few changes to the drawing, you'll be asked to save the drawing by pressing S for save. And in due course, that will then ask you to sign in. And you can sign in with Google, with your existing Google account. And the only reason we do that is that when we save your drawings, obviously we have to save each person's drawings separately. We have to know who they belong to, so we need you to sign in just to tell us that information. That's all we use it for. But for the rest of this video, I'm going to speak about what happens when you are signed in and you visit the app, which is this. It shows you the drawings you've most recently saved, So, because very often you just want to click on one of those. It lets you create a new drawing, it lets you visit the examples to play with them, but crucially, it lets you look at my drawings. And these are the drawings you've saved, and it gives a, it's a search system where you can easily search for the drawing you want to open, and you can either open it. And while I'm here, you'll notice that you can make a copy. Often you want to make a drawing derived from another one, and of course you can delete drawings you don't want anymore. Um, let's go into, oh, I don't know, um, example dinghy. <laughs> You're probably quite used to that one by now. The other thing I wanted to point out is these things up here. Drawings, help, and this picture of a person. So we just talked about signing in. So once you've signed in, you'll see that. And you can sign out that way. If two people use your computer and you want to keep your drawings separate, you can each sign in with a different Google ID, and then your drawings will be stored individually. And drawings is another way of getting back to that menu which sometimes you want to do even once you're in. But the, the, the main thing I wanted to speak about was the help system. And really that's just a list of all the commands. And the idea is that if you want to learn how to use the commands, you just visit the command you're interested in and it explains the options of what you can do here. It's as simple as that. So I think that's pretty much everything. And now when you actually visit DrawExact for the first time, hopefully you've got just about enough information to be self-sufficient and get going. That's it. Thank you. See you there.